Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this Crystal Connections video where we're exploring five of my favourite essential oils for intimacy. Now, all of the five essential oils that we're going to look at today are considered to be aphrodisiac oils. That is, that they help to kind of get us in the mood and allow our partners to relax and get in the mood as well. You'll notice that four of the five are flowers and all floral oils overall are really good on a deeper energetic level for helping us to open up to another person. To understand an essential oil, we can understand more about it as we learn about the plant. And if we think about the action of a flower, what does the flower do? It opens up and it opens up and shows its color, shows its beauty. So any oil that is gifted from an actual flower really helps us to open up in a different way. So overall, flower oils can be really good for helping to enhance um, intimacy in one way or another, whether it be to kind of whet that sexual appetite or whether it be more to just allow someone to feel more comfortable around someone else and be more intimate. So floral oils are really good aphrodisiacs, but what we're gonna to do today is not just look at aphrodisiac oils, but I'm gonna talk a little bit about the, the deeper energetics and how each of these oils will allow us to open up. In this way, whether it be Valentine's Day, an anniversary, or just you wanna make some special time for you and a loved one, then these oils will really help you to open up and you'll be able to select the ones that will be best suited for your situation. My number one favorite essential oil when it comes to intimacy is Ylang Ylang. Now Ylang Ylang, when I smell this, it takes me off to a tropical island where the weather is perfect, everyone is beautiful, and time just slows down and we allow ourselves to enjoy things. Now Ylang Ylang comes from a yellow flower and mainly comes from the island of Madagascar. Any flower that is yellow is connected to Mercury. Now the planet Mercury is all about the mind and the intellect. Now think about when you're stressed or worried and when you've got a lot in your mind. Do you allow yourself to enjoy life? Are you ready to enjoy being with a partner? No, not tonight. I'm not in the mood. I've got things on my mind. So what I love about Ylang Ylang is it really helps us to relax, to be a bit more open and to let the pleasures of life come in. If you don't like the smell of Ylang Ylang, I'd really be looking at how you feel and what your relationship is with pleasure, whether that be pleasure with a partner or whether that just be the pleasures of life and enjoying a day-to-day -day basis. Ylang Ylang quietens and soothes the mind. It can be great for helping you get to sleep, but also helping to relax to be with someone else and open up to those more special moments together. So if you feel that there's too much on your mind, you're worrying too much, there's anxiety and overwhelm playing in your mind, then definitely go for a Lang Lang. It'll help you relax and open up to pleasure. The second oil that I want to share with you is my exception to that floral rule. And there are a few other oils that aren't flowers that are still aphrodisiac, but this one is cinnamon bark. So again, when we look at the tree and we look at the plant and where the oil comes from, we're getting it from the bark. So what is bark? It works as the skin of the tree or the boundary and the barrier. Now the great thing about cinnamon bark is that it's a warming oil, so it helps to bring more warmth into our relationship. When we're working with cinnamon bark, we try and even up our armour. It can be a really great one for those that have a really open armour or armour that's too thin and get hurt easily. To toughen up, to be a bit stronger and to be a bit more vibrant. But also those that have armour that's too thick and have become a bit cold. Maybe you've been hurt in the past. Maybe there's been, you know, people have let you down. And so opening up to someone now is really hard. Cinnamon bark will help you to do that. So what I love about cinnamon bark is whether your armour is too thin or too thick, it brings that right amount of warmth. Now, the great thing about cinnamon bark is it's real warming properly. But I am going to give you a word of warning here. And I'm going to talk about different ways to use these oils at the end of the video. But this is a hot oil. So putting it directly on the skin without diluting it can cause irritation and heat and something you definitely don't want to have. So be aware that cinnamon bark is a hot oil. It'll get the warmth surging through your body. It'll get you in the right mood, but you don't want to be kind of burning something and irritating your skin at the same time. Neroli is gifted to us from the blossoms of the bitter orange tree. Now there is a whole array of different stories of how neroli has been associated with sexual relations. Nymphs would use the scent of neroli to seduce young men and women out of their bedchambers at night and into the nature and into the forest for a night of wild ecstasy. It has also been used by brides on their first night to help them relax into the 
first time that they're with their new husband. Ladies of the night would use the scent of neroli to seduce clients and to get men in their door. And it is even Cleopatra who used the scent of neroli along with Jasmine and she anointed her sails as she sailed up the Nile to seduce Mark Antony. Neroli is a great one for helping us to connect and open up and to feel more relaxed. It is high in something called linalol, which we also find in lavender. Now in lavender, you get about 35% linalol. In neroli, 65%. So very relaxing. So if you're nervous or feeling uncomfortable or you know don't want to step outside of what you normally do, neroli can really help you in that way. It can really, it works really beautifully with the sacral chakra, really helping you to open up to intimacy on all different levels. Now that may be sexual or, or physical um, intimacy. Neroli is really great there, but even sometimes if you just find it hard to connect with people, to show people who you truly are, neroli can be really beautiful in that way. The great thing about neroli is it allows us to also think outside of the square. So if you're wanting to spice up your romantic life, your sex life, and to bring in different aspects, but you're feeling a little bit nervous, then Neroli will actually help you try something different and show you that, hey, it's not as bad as you thought after all. It's only kinky the first time, as they say. Now, if you're looking for a real spiritual connection, look no further than Jasmine essential oil. Jasmine has got this really kind of dualistic energy, which is both yin or feminine and yang and masculine, melded together. Now, Jasmine is sometimes referred to as the king of the oils, with Rose being the queen. But Jasmine still has this very feminine and magical energy. She blossoms at night under a field of stars. She, in her own star shape, reflects and mirrors back that magical connection. She also has a really strong connection to the full moon. So you can see this dance between the masculine and the feminine, a sacred union. So whenever you're wanting to have a sacred union with someone, a real spiritual connection, whether you're wanting to attract someone into your life that will be more of a soulmate and a spiritual connection than just romance and a romp in the hay, then Jasmine is absolutely amazing. Whether it just be to, you know, create a baby, create magic that night, whatever that may be, Jasmine really works well to help bring the two of you together on a really spiritual level and helps to attract soulmates as well. So if you're looking for that soul and spiritual connection, definitely go for Jasmine. And what will oil number five be? Well, it's got to be the oil of love. It has to be rose. Rose essential oil is a must for any kind of intimacy blend, and I definitely would recommend you bring that in. What I love about rose is rose is about divine beauty, ultimate beauty, unconditional beauty. It lets go of expectations and allows you just to embrace what is and embrace people for who they are. Often in love, we have these expectations of what we'd like or what we'd expect things to turn out. Maybe we have a big romantic night and we have this visualization of how it's going to be. And in the end, what happens? It doesn't match our expectation and we're disappointed. Rose allows you to relax and simply just embrace and go, it is what it is. And if we end up giggling and laughing because it didn't quite turn out that way, then that's a beautiful experience and can be as amazing as a wild night of making love until the sun comes up. So when you want to just embrace what is and embrace and celebrate love, bring in Rose. It'll allow you to open up your heart. It'll allow other people to relax and open up their hearts. It'll allow you to come together and enjoy what is rather than enjoy what you want something to be. It's a really beautiful oil. And of course, being connected to Aphrodite and so many other deities, Rose is definitely great for intimacy and love. Now, there are so many different other essential oils that were, could have been mentioned in this video that could have been in the top five. Some of them are flowers like lotus, or geranium could be really good. Or you could look at other oils like sandalwood, damiana, divana, cacao, or vanilla would be absolutely amazing as well. Do you have a favorite intimacy oil? I'd love to hear about it and share that in the comment section below. Now I said I'd give you a few hints on how to use it. Well, when it comes to essential oils, basically as long as you get them in you, on you, around you, it doesn't matter. So popping a blend in a diffuser and diffusing that around. Wearing it on your skin as a perfume can really help as well. Making it into a nice massage blend, making sure that we dilute it enough. Remember what I said about that cinnamon bark? You don't want things to go and take a, a wrong turn when someone gets a bit too hot in a sensitive area. And putting essential oils near you know, your eyes, your ears, and your pink pits, definitely not a good idea. Um, I, the other thing is some of the essential oils 
Now you've got to be really check because they will vary from company to company and oil to oil, are actually safe to use in cooking and ingesting. And maybe making a hot cacao drink with some of these oils would be absolutely amazing to bring that energy within. So I'd love to hear about your tips and what you've found works really well with essential oils and bringing intimacy and romance into your life. Remember, when it comes to getting essential oils, not all essential oils are the same. And you wanna make sure you're getting a pure essential oil gifted from that plant, ideally when that plant was growing in its native country. If you ever need help finding some top quality oils for intimacy or any other reason, my contact details are below. Please reach out. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Adam Barrowley. Blessed be.